Hey everybody, today's question is, you know, how many times are you out there and you're deer hunting, you see a deer in a food plot and you're watching them, and you think they're like sneezing. You, say, you know, they're not blowing at you, they, it, something's really bothering them. What we found out through years of research is nasal bots. It's pretty gross. John Heaton here has a perfect example of what a nasal bot is. John, basically what happens is fly larvae get up inside a deer's sinus cavity, and the growth process starts there. Oh doesn't? man, yeah. It's... So let's take a look. You've pulled one out of this buck already, yeah. and you guys can see what it looks like. That is a nasty little maggot. And they say you can gag a maggot. Yeah. I can gag a deer right there. Absolutely. And you show me. This is a okay. This right. is a deer's skull upside down. We've already taken out. We're going to have this as a as a euro mount. Yeah. Right up inside the nasal cavity. Okay, right inside here is the nasal cavity, and that's kind of where they they'll bury themselves down in there. And that's what they're living off of, you know, mucus, uh, blood, and whatnot. A lot of times these older animals have a bigger sinus cavity, so they're more, you know, subjected to getting these nasal bots. Here's one, for example, down inside of his sinus cavity here. Right here. So he's that's, still, he's that's still alive. That's right there. So that maggot is going to sit there grow and feed inside of a deer's um, sinus cavity yeah. until it hatches into a fly and it's going to come out that way. Pretty gross but that's life in the wild. You imagine what these deer go through no matter where they're, oh. they're living in Texas, if they're living up by us in Wisconsin. That's right. They get this weird creepy crawly stuff and that's just the way it is in the wild. And there's sometimes when I cut these things open and I'll have 25 to 30 of those bots just piled up inside of it. I mean, I can't even and imagine. And they attach, you said, right, to the mucus membrane. Yes, they go in there and attach to the mucus membrane. So what happens there is, and that's what a lot of people see, is, okay, I mean, imagine this. This is gross. But you got 25 or 30 maggots in your sinus cavity. You can't get them out. Now, a lot of times what you see, like I said, you see, you think the deer's trying to sneeze it out, which it probably is trying to do. Yeah. It's, I can't imagine how uncomfortable that is. Oh, but man. another thing that you'll often see what people think when deer are feeding in water, they're not. They're trying to get rid of those nasal bots. They'll shove their snout right into the water. Right. And it's almost like you're blowing in water, you know. Right. And they're trying to get them out, but they can't. They're trying to figure out ways. Right. It's just amazing what a whitetail has to deal with day to day, 365 out in the wild. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is a really cool thing for me to see right here. This is a chestnut tree, a young one, and it's thriving. But this is a special chestnut tree. First, let me tell you about chestnuts. The American chestnut was considered the most important tree in American history. But in 1904, a blight disease came into this country and nearly wiped out every American chestnut. What happened? What happened was a blight disease came up from overseas on imported Chinese chestnuts and infected the American chestnuts. It almost, it spelled the end to the American chestnut, but in 1962, Dr. Robert Dunstan from North Carolina developed a special hybrid tree, and that's what you see right here today. This is a Dunstan chestnut tree. It is an exclusive tree for Chestnut Hill Outdoors, and it is a major producer of mast for deer produces great chestnuts, it's blight resistant, and it grows in zones five to nine, so it's very adaptable. You can check out these trees and find out more about how you can get them established on your property for better wildlife by going to chestnuthilltreefarm.com.